Nathan here again with another Street Tech troubleshooting tutorial. Today I'd like to do an overview of a sample I created for a subscriber who was asking a question on how to create a form that is compatible with two different languages. And he requested French and English. And so I have done something like this before and wanted to show everyone how this was done. So we have a, just a basic form here with a header and footer, one text field, and a button. But if you look at the hierarchy, there's more than meets the eye. So there's four objects that are visible, but there's actually six objects on the hierarchy, which means we've hidden some. And one of one of which we've hidden is this one here, our English command button. Our French command button is visible. That's what that one there. And then our header in English is visible. Our header in French is hidden. With the footer, I just kept it because that's a URL and the language doesn't matter. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing an similar to maybe an image swap in a web page where you click a button and all that's happening is one thing is hiding and another thing is being unhidden and it gives the effect of something changing but really it's just a hide show. That's what's happening with the clicking of this Francais button. It's making TrueTech troubleshooting tutorial header go away and the French one to become visible. Of course now they're both visible here. You see them superimposed over each other. But If I make this one hidden then you just see the French one. So there's two objects there. They're both the same size and they're both in the same XY coordinate area. Therefore when I make one visible and one hidden it looks as if a translation has happened. All that's happened is is a hide show. Now that's different though than what's happening in the English caption. The caption of this is a attribute or a property of this actual object and so in my script I have to do something beyond just letting one hide and one show. So let me show you the script real quick here. So in the script of the Francais button I have a few lines of code First is dealing with the text field. Text field one dot caption dot value dot resolve node pound text dot value. Basically what this is is saying make the caption read whatever's in the quote marks after the equal sign, which is right here this. And I need a semicolon. And then this the second line is hide the TTT header, which is the English header, make visible the French header make this dot presence hidden meaning make the button that we just clicked this where the where this code exists so CMD French make it hidden and then make CMD English visible so with two objects we're swapping with the title we're swapping with the button we're swapping but with the English caption the text field we are creating just a new caption now here's why we do this things like labels or in this case uh, lifecycle calls them text I like to refer to them as a text box this object here uh, they're very difficult to change programmatically because their their attributes are so numerous but with a form field where you're going to actually be entering in some values we don't want to swap the field for another hidden field because then when we're taking the data out of the form later maybe we're going to export it maybe we're going to submit it to some database we don't want to see an English text field with blank and a French text field with French in it. We don't want two text fields. We only want one text field. But with two buttons, that doesn't matter. That's not something that gets filled out. Or the label at the top or at the bottom, those aren't getting filled out by the end user. So we can swap those in and out easily. But with the text field, it's different. So what we need to do is we need to do this caption swap. We need to take the value of the caption and set it to a new value. Now, of course, if we go and look at our command English, it's, it's the same statement as right here, except it's changing it back. So let's watch this happen. So here's our English button. And in the button, we have the exact opposite happening with all these lines of code and with this top line of code. Take the value of the caption and make it English. And so here's the net effect. The form opens. We have a text field which will type some 
sample value in. We click the Francais button. Everything becomes French. The caption, the top, and the button. We click it again. It swaps back. So we can easily swap back and forth between two languages without affecting what we've typed into this form field. That way our data is intact. So if it's an English person speaking and they're typing in English, fine, that's what's in here. If they're typing in French, fine, it's, it stays here the same. Or if they're bilingual, they can go back and forth however they want if, they, if there's some subtlety they don't under, understand about it. So this is basically what I'm calling a translated form. Um, now notice what we're not doing. We're not messing around with the form's root properties. In Lifecycle there is a locale setting, which right now by default it's set to USA English, and you could change it to French down here like this. That will do something to the XML, but it won't do anything to the the actual attributes here that we that are visible. Same thing here in Form Properties. There's also a place where you can set a language form locale default right there. But again, changing this to French doesn't do anything. If I go here like this, all that that refers to is like the different kind of input masks a number field might have or a decimal field. So we'll drag a decimal field in and we'll look at the patterns. Now these are all French patterns here, preloaded. And if we go and change that back, that locale setting back to USA English, and now we click on patterns, we get dollar signs instead of franc signs. So messing with locale doesn't help us. Messing with the language settings don't help us. Swapping these images in and out and changing the caption does do what we want it to do. It gives the effect of being a bilingual form. One more thing you could do, and this is just by way of example, I wouldn't recommend this, but you could do, is you could make a whole separate page. You could say main and insert a new page and set up a page exactly like the page we have before with the exact same objects and you could use the button to hide the page that's in French and make appear the page that's in English and that would just be too much coding. I believe this is the best way to do it. It's just have a toggle switch in the middle and of course it doesn't have to be as simple as I've done it here. We can have multiple different objects image fields, we can have uh, numeric fields, tables, all these things. All we have to do is make sure whatever we we have on the form our code accounts for and uh, all the caption have a line similar to this where the caption is swapped from one language to another. So anyway there you go, that's a bilingual form. Use it, uh, hack it make, it, make it work for you and of course send me your questions if you have any. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.